Welcome. Now, this is a new format here a little bit in the Let's Build. Um, mostly because the part four of the Let's Build was not the great, greatest in my opinion. Uh, mostly because of the missing parts and, uh, well, not completely engineered parts here. So I'm going to give a short uh, tour of what I've changed, what parts I had to buy and where these parts are installed so that you can uh, continue with part five without having to worry about these things and uh, so that you know which things did not work out as good as I wanted them to work out. The first thing um, would be the screws um, on the bottom which are here located here and on the other side so the screw sorry here and here which uh, were simply missing um, or more like two were included what and two were missing the next one is here these screws seven were included eight were needed and i thought well let's replace all of them instead of just uh, one so i replaced all eight screws of them with the proper ones the next thing was um, the screws on top here for the rods so here to secure these rods so the linear rods here um, they were too long so i bought ones that were smaller for interest if you're interest, interested, um, you need uh, 60 millimeter screws, M4. Um, so in total, four screws of those. And you need an additional four screws with 25 millimeters to attach the rods here on the bottom. Because the included 20 millimeter ones are just long enough to get pretty much here at the end of the aluminum profile. The aluminum profile already is. 20 millimeters high so the screw won't even poke out so you need uh, 25 millimeter screws here to attach the rod um, four of these 25 millimeter ones the second thing i did not do on the um, build on live build so to say was um, soaking the linear bearings here the four ones here in isopropyl alcohol to remove the crease and debris which i thought would be better to do and i pretty much completely disassembled these parts here to remove the um, linear bearings and soak them in isopropanol and i found out there were a lot of bits in there metal bits as well as plastic bits which definitely are not supposed to be in there. So I cleaned them out, replaced the lubricant in there with a proper lubricant for bearings. Um, I used stuff from Liquid Molly. I believe that is MOSA, which is for high intensity, high stress bearings. Um, in my opinion, good enough for this. Um, so that's something you should probably do as well if you buy a printer from China or generally a, a low-cost printer because these bearings often are not completely cleaned inside, which is not good for them. And then I, after installing them and lubricating the bearings, I also installed the rods, cleaned them before as well with isopropanol applied a thin coating of um, the same lubricant as the bearings, Appli applied lubricant to the lead screw here on both sides, applied lubricant to the, um, to the screw mount here, and that pretty much um, solved these issues. Uh, now I can easily move the, um, the whole assembly up and down without them binding up somewhere or screeching or something like that. I deliberately applied way too much uh, of the lubricant because um, 
if you completely remove the lubricant with isopropanol, then um, there is a, a problem that they may um, run, run dry, sorry. So um, by applying too much lubricant, um, you get it in the nooks and crannies between the boards. And uh, the worst case thing that can happen is that it will squeeze out and you can just wipe it off. So that's, that's how I did it up till now. And that's the things I had to replace. All in all, the cost for the additional screws and the screws that are missing and things like that like that were somewhere around three bucks so i have no clue why they aren't including proper screws in there and especially all screws but yeah well that's that's a thing um to be aware of and last but not least i will give you a short tour around the printer because you mostly only see it in this two perspective way but this is quite big this thing so a little bit of a view around here the top is the thing you probably are most familiar with yes and well this concludes the small in between part 4.5 um, and we will resume with part 5 the next uh, part which is going to be about the hotbed assembly and hopefully then um, we'll not have as many problems as up till now hopefully no missing parts as far as i can tell there aren't any missing parts i have checked again because um i don't want to go to the hardware store a third time to get some screws that were missing but um, let's hope that i did a decent job in counting all the screws that are required. So hope to see you uh, again in part five. And sorry for the, well, not so easy assembly until now or mostly condensed in part four. So thanks again. Hope you enjoy watching it. And I also hope to see you in the next part.